don't know if you'll be able to get any of this. This is actually Royal Springs Street. So Royal Springs is the uh, area that was colonized by McClellan. I want to say John McClellan. So John McClellan had got killed by Chief Plucky, Plucky Munity. So he got killed by him, uh, and it was at Royal Springs. So the McClellan's fort was abandoned shortly after. So this would have been a successful Indian raid because they shot and killed McClellan, and then there was no more McClellan Station. Everybody fled once the man who had established the fucking fort was there. He established it with the three brothers. They came out of Pennsylvania. He'd only been here for a year. He came in here in 75, 1775, November, and he was here for a year. And then uh, he took off. Or he got he got killed a year later, so about a year and a month later. This is like some the Royal Springs. I heard it's the biggest public, uh, public sponsored or public spring system in the in the world or country or state or something. So the idea is it's a public. It's a spring, so it's like water just coming off the hill. But they're making a ton of money off of it. Or they're spreading it to everybody. So this says Royal Springs Avenue. You can barely see it. South Royal Springs Avenue. And then this uh, stop sign. This is North Main Street. Georgetown Municipal water and sewer service water treatment plant. It's a trucker. This is downtown Georgetown. It's a shadow of me there on this sign. And then here's Main Street. It's night, so uh, this kind of sucks footage, but um, there's a KU at the opposite end of this street, so, you know, that's a uh, that's to be expected. The uh, Kentucky Utilities, of course, anytime there's any money to be made. Um, but, you know, this biggest public, there's a spring, Royal Spring, so they found this spring. McClellan put a fort right here. Uh, he tried to establish it, it didn't work, but eventually some other people, Elijah Craig and um, some other folks came down here and, and reestablished it and made it work. So where McClellan had failed, other people came behind him and, and made it succeed. Um, something that, it, like, it's it would be just tired just to walk to the other end of the town. I would definitely drive if I wanted to, like, go to the opposite end of the town. Uh, maybe that's just saying something about me, but the, uh, it's just saying that walking, I mean, like, we don't really walk that far. But back then, Delaware, Ohio is above Columbus, and this raid had started out, um, you know, from there. And so Plucky Minoti, he comes all the way down here with 30 guys, 30 Mingo warriors. Kills McClellan here. This is also where Plucky dies, right? So this is no, uh, there's supposed to be a historical marker, actually. There's supposed to be like a public park. Mm, Royal Springs Park. So I said I need to find that Royal Springs Park. Uh, but he died here, but there's, there's a historical marker, but I can't find, um, I can't find where it's at. And actually, there's more interesting stuff down here. I don't know if there's like water, there's like, it said water treatment plates, so I don't know if that's the spring or not. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, yeah, so this is the death. There's no marker, there's no gravestone, there's nothing that says that Chief Plucky was actually here. Uh, that Chief Plucky was even around um, Georgetown. There's especially a marker somewhere, so I'm gonna check that out. Uh, but you know, the marker is very little. It's not like a park, and there's not even not even for McClellan Station either, too. So McClellan's kind of getting uh, written off a uh, history. I'm gonna try to find this uh, this park. Probably will be able to see none of this. Still Main Street, Kelly Street, next to Roger or something and Wilson. Just big ass house here. Looks like an old Victorian mansion. Can't really see none of it right now. 
That's the only thing here that's on the corner. Royal Springs. It's a very short road. Um, it doesn't show that much. Maybe with the light off. This badass house. I'd like to capture it. I'd like to get a picture of it. <laughs> Okay, don't shoot me. I, I just like Carol's house. <laughs> it's a badass house that's right at the corner of the Royal Springs Street. There's supposed to be a Royal Springs uh, Park somewhere, but I can't find the motherfucker. I think I'll stay just right here. Still so see the silhouette, right? Very poor, but. <sighs> little bit perplexed with these dates so you have 25th he was uh, attacked someone on the Licking River and then the 29th he's in McClellan Station so I guess the Licking River to here McClellan's not that far but he'd also attacked Harrods Fort which is really far away so when did they attack Harrods Fort before or after this Royal Springs Baptist Church it's real fucking, it's poor quality, but it's late at night, so I can't hate. It's just Royal Springs, anything with Royal Springs on it. And then it dead end, it's a dead end road, so I don't even know where the, the so-called park would be. The uh, Royal Springs Park, both north and south, Royal Springs, eventually dead end. This ain't really a park right here, so I don't know. driving down 68 or actually driving up 68 north you got this large phallic symbol here um, it's the blue licks monument battle of blue licks battle of blue licks would be the last battle of the American Revolution the first battle was uh, the massacre at Yellow Creek which is just a massacre just a genocidal massacre against defenseless people is a trick Hey, come over here, let's be friends, kill, kill, kill. Uh, Daniel Greathouse was the white English colonist that sliced Johnny Logan's sister's stomach open and then scalped the baby that was inside. So the scalping techniques, I don't know who started it, but white people were scalping too and they were scalping fetuses. So they was aborting other people's babies and then chopping off the top of its head. I don't know who would do that or how, what barbaric person would do something like that. Um, but I was just driving through here. It's late at night right now, but it was lit. So they spend all this time for uh, uh, to keep it lit. It's Blue Licks Battlefield State Resort Park. Uh, it's at a private residence, so I think I could actually drive through here. Um, it's got, you know, buffaloes, three or four buffalo here. Battle of Blue Licks was the last battle of the... Uh, uh, American Revolution it happened here in northern Kentucky. Daniel Boone was a part of it. It said Thomas Boone had died, so that was his brother um, on the monument. It said that it was actually was one of the worst battles uh, for the Western theater because what had happened was uh, uh, Hugh McGarry says, uh, "If you're a coward, we, we better chase them. You know, we better run after these guys. If you're unless you're a coward, and so then they run into the middle, and then it's just a bloodbath." Everybody's getting killed. So you had Thomas Boone who was killed. You had Israel Boone that was killed. Um, Daniel Boone's son, his brother. And uh, I think it was like 30 or 40 or 50 people. I, they didn't mention. I mean, there's a list up there. It looks like there's probably about 20 or 30 or so. Um, but it was one of the, you know, the worst ones in the American Revolution. It was a loss for the Kentucky militia. Um... And it was against Native Americans. It was Simon Gurdy, and then there was, I think, Chief Blackfish, some Shawnee Indians, and um, maybe maybe there might have been a couple British there, but mostly mostly the Indians were there. So 
almost in here actually in Maysville. So I was here. Um, I used to work at Applebee's over here. I don't know if you can see Applebee's. McDonald's or uh, Walmart. Um, I know this spot. I know these people. I know what's going on here. Uh, but uh, so I was in Walmart. It's a madhouse in there. I was going to buy something, but I was like, man, what the kind of fucking Thanksgiving fucking purchasing shit at Walmart? No Walmarts, no fucking uh, McDonald's. That should be a rule for the Thanksgiving, the green the corn festival. The three days of green corn really is all we need. We need to find fucking green corn. Um, yeah, so this is Maysville, Kentucky. I just saw North Shawnee Road back there, actually. North Shawnee Road, I'm in uh, Maysville. I didn't realize it was on me. I'm, I need to flip this around. Um, okay. so the short time that I was here, I had several jobs. I worked at Applebee's, at Federal Mogul, I worked at some other uh, factory job and I uh, just passed uh, Pizza Hut that's where my uh, cousin was working and uh, when I come to visit them uh, I made a proposal to try to uh, you know uh, hang out with them and uh, he didn't like it so I went to go hang out with the son and he followed me it was weird so his dad was like all oh, fucking follow me and shit like a weird fucking stalker like, how dare you influence my son? Meanwhile, motherfucker goes to school, he's talking to all these people. Like, you don't know who the fuck's influencing your son. He actually goes specifically out of his way to make sure that I'm not around. And that's kind of pretty shitty. I want to go this way. This downtown Maysville was where the uh, Limestone Creek and the Ohio meet. It was in Maysville. And Valero is actually taking over Kentucky. I cannot believe how many Valero gas stations I've been seeing all over the place. Uh, there's the bridge there, I just got to turn around, but I was checking this out. I like this candy land type fucking dream little fucking small town. Fucking idealized Norman Rockwell. It's fucking Norman Rockwell painting. A lot of cars out there. Really. So this is where the uh, licking or the uh, limestone river dumps into the Ohio River right at Maysville. And so that's where they was hiding the 500 pounds of gunpowder for George Rogers Clark. And uh, this is in Maysville. So they was hiding it either 10 miles north or south of here. I can't really tell. This is a, it's actually a fucking gorgeous bridge it's, when it's lit up at night like this. Uh, it's also, the town's pretty festive. They got all the Christmas lights, so the whole thing just kind of works out pretty, pretty well. It's sort of narrow, just two, two lanes, but, you know, it does its job.